Starting with Bloxy 2, the new advanced post block helps you embed a sleek looking index of your posts anywhere on the site where the Gutenberg editor is present. The new block also works for your custom post types, so integrating it into your setup should be a breeze. With the advanced post block, you can create pretty much any layout you may think of as flexibility is its key point. Think of it as a post aggregator on the home page with various categories selected or a nice slider view of your latest post to keep things compact but information rich. You can do all of that with the advanced post block. Advanced post leverages the power of the dynamic data block that's also been introduced in Bloxy2. The dynamic data block will be the one responsible for pulling data from your posts, such as the title and excerpt, while the advanced post block brings it all together in a template. You can watch our sister video on the dynamic data block if you wish to learn more about it. But let's check it out in action. Start by creating a new page by using the new menu in the top toolbar. You should be able to find the advanced post block in your library. Upon inserting it, you will be presented with three choices. Import from Customizer, choose Pattern, or create a custom layout. Inherit from Customizer will recreate the layout that's already been set for the post type in the Customizer. This option is straightforward, giving you simple options to configure such as the post type that posts will be pulled from, the number of posts that you'd likely to display, and if the block should be presented as a slider. More on that in a bit. Otherwise, the design will be identical to what's been set in the customizer for that post type. So if the post archive has been configured as a list, the advanced post block will follow it. Before we continue with the parameters that can be configured, let's check out the customized patterns. Customized patterns let you achieve a personalized look for your advanced post block that will be different from what's been set in the customizer. For example, you can present just a very simple list of post titles letting users explore more on their own. We'll pick a random design from the preset list and expand the list view for the blocks. As you can see here, the structure is much more complex, giving you the flexibility of creating your own posts card designs by rearranging them or inserting new blocks. Here's where the dynamic data blocks come in really handy, as they can help create a customized template by pulling in the data of a postcard, such as title, date, author, and so on. Since this is a custom design, you can even switch the post template block from a list to a grid, further customizing how things look. Now, it's time to check out the parameters that are available for configuring the advanced post block. These can help you order the loop in a specific way, including or excluding specific categories, and so on. They can be accessed by having the advanced post block selected and clicking the dot 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 button in the sidebar. As a demonstration, we'll enable them all and note what each of them can do for you. The first one, Offset, can help you skip some of the posts from being shown. For example, you can set the offset to 2 and the first two posts in the selected order will not be shown. Ordering controls give you the ability to change how these posts are ordered. You can order posts ascending or descending by their title, published or modified dates, number of comments, authors, or even a randomized loop, helping you create intricate designs. There are also options where you can have all of your sticky posts included, excluded, or only have them shown in the post loop. The next few options let you include or exclude specific categories and or tags. For example, you can select just a few specific categories or use the exclusion rule for easier management in case you have many terms you'd need to include. These rules are also available for tags. Before we close out, we'd like to take a little detour and check out the slideshow feature of the advanced post block. This lets you transform your post grid into a nice slider mechanism that showcases your posts in a compact way while still retaining all the information about each post that you have selected. To enable it, it is a simple checkbox that you can find in the sidebar by having the advanced post selected. And with that out of the way, let's check out how neatly it looks on the front end. Wow, looks rather easy, doesn't it? Everything is now available in the user interface. Advanced posts for an advanced design. And if you wish to learn more about what Bloxy2 has to offer, continue on onto our website or click on one of our other videos to keep watching.